Hello, good evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of days trading Monday, the 26th of September 2016. Be sure to visit CFDs.com for trading uh, and signals and market updates from leading providers at tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so it's a risk off day today, led by the Asian markets from the outset. Okay. And uh, we had the Deutsche Bank concerns as well. Uh, we had Moody's potentially cutting the ratings of Turkey and therefore hurting emerging markets. The Shanghai was down minus 1.7%. So certainly a risk aversion or risk off day today on mass. Adding the fact, obviously, of Deutsche Bank concerns with Merkel stating that she's not going to uh, potentially bail out the bank. And therefore, uh, as we already know, uh, the US uh, is fine. That's imposed upon it. I think it's around 14 billion and it's a market cap of around what 18 billion. I can't remember now, I can't remember the figures. But basically, we uh, certainly have trouble in the banking sector and therefore uh, indicating risk aversion. In terms of uh, the stats for the day, FTSE down minus 1.3%, the DAX and the uh, CAC, they're most down, DAX down more than 2%, and the, uh, the actual CAC down uh, 1%. Now, having said that, that's the bearish data or bearish news, but we certainly had some positive news as well. German IFO data stronger than expected. So again, Mr. Draghi as well, also dovish. We had Mr. Corroder obviously dovish as well in terms of QE, but that certainly isn't having the effect today because German bank concerns certainly seem to be dominating proceedings at present. Okay, so let's look at the actual technical picture now given the fact that we've covered the fundamentals, the most important one for the day. Now, the daily chart of the German DAX, we certainly flushed. We held that FIB 75%, certainly have flushed lower. We certainly have this gap fill now that that's close, so you're into gap fill support. There is a further gap below as well on the daily chart, so just be wary of that. Currently into gap fill support on the German DAX, so therefore looking for a potential pop higher. Going to the 60-minute chart of the German DAX, again, we close the gap below as well. The gap below at 10.390 certainly closed, so impressive sell-off today. Very, very impressive. So again, uh, if that fails, then obviously the next gap that we know is 10.275. So certainly watch out for that. You certainly have a potential unfilled gap above now that you've left to potentially target. Again, like I said, stronger IFO data certainly should have lifted uh, or lifted sentiment uh, away from the bearish extreme. Okay, 10-minute chart of the uh, German DAX. Again, as you can see here, uh, gap fill after gap fill, so gap fill again into second gap fill. So looking for a potential bounce on the 10 minute chart. The next potential support is 10.340 if that fails at uh, 10.390. After hours are still struggling at 10.390, so we shall see how that finishes. But again, unfill gap above, that's been left of open. The uh, French CAC now quickly. Uh, the daily chart, the French CAC again held at uh, horizontal resistance zone. Certainly close the uh, the gap below at 4407. Okay, on the uh, the French CAC, certainly held that gap. There is an unfilled gap below uh, again at 4390. So watch out for 4390 if we do continue to move lower on the uh, French CAC. 60 minute chart, the French CAC certainly um, trading sideways. We did have a, a weaker economic data point uh, released. Uh, for the uh, French CAC, we had uh, jobless claims stronger than expected, uh, or basically much higher than, ex uh, than expected. So um, again, certainly will exert pressure on the euro on the downside, and also exert pressure on the uh, the French CAC as well for that gap fill at uh, 4390. 4390 will be your support zone. If that fails to hold, then you're the next potential gap fill at 4340. 10 minute chart, the French CAC again. We are building a potential base here now. Although, like I said, the uh, economic data late in the session certainly will have a bearing as well. So the gap certainly has closed on the uh, French CAC. And you have support now being built around the 4400 level. Will 4390 gap fill support coming into play as well. Okay, now FTSE 100 next. Daily chart of the FTSE 100 certainly flushed lower quite substantially on the back of Brexit concerns, etc. I did expect the uh, the actual uh, bullish engulfing candle on the 60-minute chart, or daily chart, certainly to hold at 6830, but we've certainly cracked lower, which again is just certainly a worrying sign. Okay, certainly is a worrying sign. Uh, in terms of flushing lower, let's go to the 60-minute chart. You're into your 200 MA support, so again, that certainly will act as support. You have this key diagonal trend line. That certainly will act as potential support. If that were to flush, then the next potential support you have is really 
down below at 6730 so again cause for concern on the larger time frames if that support were to go 10 minute chart on the FTSE at the moment we we didn't actually make a lower low towards the close so again uh, a strong argument here for an inverted head and shoulders formation so your left shoulder here you pivot low here then if you can hold this right shoulder on the back of stronger oil prices then we are certainly looking to a potential thrust tire if we do thrust tire then you are going up to that 200 ma and potential resistance at 6880 so keep an eye on the uh, potential uh, upside scenario as well folks okay certainly keep an eye, an eye on that upside scenario okay so that certainly seems to be the situation towards the close in the FTSE 100 looking for a potential bullish tilt and a bullish uh, bias in terms of euro stocks let's just bring up the euro stocks now daily chart the euro stocks at the moment flushing lower you do have a gap fill below at uh, 2965 that may well close currently trading around the 2975 zone so 2965 watch out 60 minute chart FTSE we certainly have this bear flag formation although given Mr Draghi's uh, dovish rhetoric I certainly didn't expect the gap to close and expected a potential short squeeze that didn't ensue okay 10 minute chart on the uh, euro stock certainly building a base here now up to 2973 with 2965 being support gap fill again like I said dovish Draghi sending the euro potentially lower thereby helping uh, european equities that certainly remains a factor at play so i certainly wouldn't uh, turn bearish on european equities now i did have a short but i closed it and switched my bias to long footsie certainly close that as well uh, but i am currently long the s p 500 so playing the us market rally at present okay <clears throat> i think that's a wrap just before i go just quickly look at the german banking sector folks daily chart the german banking sector is into support so uh, Deutsche Bank concerns certainly factored into a large extent. So again, watch out for that. If that is breached, then you are looking at weakness in the eurozone. So again, it is going to be a cause for concern. So it may well the banking sector may well send the rest of the market equity markets lower. But given the fact that uh, Deutsche Bank did come out and said that there was no capital raising concerns, um, certainly markets and given the fact that U.S. markets certainly have weathered the storm now, I am looking for a bullish bias. Okay, but again, we'll see. Uh, allow the markets to dictate uh, FTSE banks as well let's just bring that up FTSE banks in a daily chart certainly coming into support as well okay so again if we do continue to flush then you have further support below but again like I, uh, it will be a, a banking sector uh, focus and uh, banking sector certainly will dictate the next move on that note my buyer still does remain bullish now going into the uh, European session tomorrow given the fact that US markets are now into support looking for a potential bounce and uh, by the dip type mentality here looking to potentially move higher now the nasdaq at the moment just chart the nasdaq on the 10 minute chart you certainly have this uh, falling contracting wedge type pattern that generally indicates a bullish uh, potential uh, reaction and therefore looking to potentially target the 4860 gap above so certainly looking for a thrust higher on us markets on that note i wish you uh, good night Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Go